Hello everybody, this is Dr. Eskam. Hope that you are doing well. So uh, we continue with our English series of zoology uh, courses and uh, today we discover the second group of uh, metazoan tridimics which is the group of tridimics pseudocelomates. <clears throat> okay, so uh, as uh, we said before, uh, the tridimics uh, were uh, divided in two groups according to uh, the structure of the mesoderm. Okay, so for the first group, the mesoderm don't contain any cavity and they are called acelomats. Uh, for the third group, uh, the mesoderm contain a true cavity and they are called celomats. But uh, today we will discover this uh, intermediate group, which is pseudocelomats and, uh, and um, uh, which are characterized by the presence of a specific cavity. Okay, so... <clears throat> Uh, the the pseudocelomates uh, are uh, characterized by the presence of cavity. Okay, so they are not flattened as uh, such as uh, uh, platyhelminths, but this cavity is uh, limited only in the outside by the mesoderm. Okay, and in uh, in the inside side, they are covered by the endoderm. So that's why we can't uh, call this cavity cellum, but uh, it is only uh, internal cavity. Okay, uh, they contain a cavity, so automatically they are not flattened, they are not uh, flat, uh, but they are rounded. Uh, their form is rounded. Okay, we can find these animals uh, ever uh, in free uh, life or parasitic life. Okay, so as I said, uh, if we uh, cut uh, a pseudocelomate animal, we'll, we will discover, uh, okay, the, the external, uh, the external um, uh, layer, which is the ectoderm, which is the body covering. Okay, uh, and we find the internal uh, uh, covering uh, of uh, the digestive tract, which is endoderm. Okay, and uh, between the ectoderm and the endoderm, we find a cavity. Okay, but if you look, uh, this cavity is emitted only in the external side by the mesoderm. So that's why we can't uh, call it um, uh, celom, but it's only a cavity. Okay. <clears throat> we see uh, for the celomats that uh, it is uh, completely different. <clears throat> okay, so uh, this group or uh, this uh, yes, this group uh, of three dynamics are represented by several branches. Okay, but uh, the representation changes from uh, uh, from a book to uh, to another book. Okay, so in the literature, we can find uh, several results. Uh, for my part, uh, using um, uh, the Jardin Veron uh, uh, study, uh, she presents the she presents she presented the pseudocelomats in six uh, six films, but you can maybe find uh, more or less branches. Ok, donc les pseudocellomates dans la littérature sont représentés par plusieurs embranchements qui diffèrent selon les, les livres et les travaux, mais comme euh, dans notre référentiel, donc, euh, elle, euh, Géraldine Véran présente, euh, euh, présente les pseudocellomates en six embranchements, donc, qui représentent ces, ce groupe-là. So, uh, you have phylum of nematodes, phylum of gastroclotis, phylum of gnatostomilid, phylum of kinorenkish, phylum of nematomorpha, phylum of rutifera, and uh, phylum of rutifera. Okay, so uh, for our parts, we will, will not talk about all these uh, branches, but uh, uh, I have chosen one branches and why one example. Okay, but uh, before moving to my example, let's discover these animals uh, in photo. So here you have uh, uh, nematode, uh, an example from uh, uh, the branch of nematodes. 
and you have an example from the branch of rotifera. Okay, so as you can see, they are free. This branch live free in the nature, and uh, these ones live uh, in parasitic life. So. For our part, we have chosen the film of Rematus and the example of Ascaris, uh, Ascaris uh, spaces. So, uh, Ascaris, uh, this is a photo of Ascaris. Okay, here you have Ascaris male and here you have Ascaris female. And you can see that the size of uh, the female is uh, more uh, or, or the female is longer than the male okay so uh, these uh, animals live uh, in parasitic life and they parasit uh, the digestive tract okay they, they, they are very dangerous uh, uh, parasites okay and they have uh, several uh, characteristics Okay, but we uh, will talk uh, so about uh, about their um, uh, different different uh, systems. Okay, so if we cut uh, Ascaris, we can uh, confirm that uh, it is uh, pseudocelomat because it contains uh, covering covering layer which is ectoderm. And uh, here you have the digestive tract uh, surrounded by the endoderm. And uh, between the two layers, you have uh, mesoderm that cover only the outside of uh, the cavity. Okay, so that's why this cavity it is a uh, pseudocelom and not, uh, and not a cell. Okay, <clears throat> so let's uh, discover some of these systems. <clears throat> Uh, here you have this picture uh, that show uh, which show shows all, uh, several systems. Okay, so uh, the first one is uh, the nervous system. Okay, so here you have a very simple nervous system. So um, in the evolution, we are still in a simple uh, uh, simple uh, animals. Okay, so the uh, the nervous system is composed from nerve ganglion as a ring, okay, and from this ring uh, departs two uh, cords, two ner nerve, uh, cords, nerve cords, uh, the dorsal nerve and the ventral nerve, okay. So it is very simple as uh, as a system, <clears throat> and then you have. Um, you have a digestive system, mm -hmm. and here uh, the, the digestive system uh, in the Ascaris is complete because it contains the moat and the anus. So let's start by the moat. So the, after the moat, uh, which is uh, located in the anterior side, we find the pharynx, and after the uh, pharynx, you have the intestine, and the intestine will end by a uh, second opening, which is the, the anus. Okay, so it is a complete system. Donc, le système digestif ici, il est complet, puisqu'il commence par une bouche. La bouche s'aligne avec un pharynx. Un pharynx s'aligne avec des intestins, qui se termine par la deuxième ouverture, qui est l'anus. Okay, this is for the digestive system, and uh, and let's move to the excretory tube. So the excretory tube is uh, composed from two canals, okay, that end by uh, excretory uh, pore. And uh, finally, uh, let's. Uh, 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 I forget uh, to tell you that uh, the animal contains a cuticle, which is uh, a covering um, structure that covers all the body, okay, and it is very specific for uh, the ascaris. Uh, and let's finish by uh, the reproductive system. So, uh, as I uh, show you, uh, 
the male <coughs> the female is longer than the male okay and this animal isn't hermaphrodite it is a gonochoric it means that each uh, each animal is um, uh, has uh, one only one uh, only one reproductive system okay uh, so let's start by the female so uh, the female contain one ovary and several uterus okay one ovary but several uterus okay and uh, they are uh, uterus are related between uh, them by oviducts and it finish uh, by uh, genital um, genital pore which is located in the half uh, of uh, of the body of the animal okay donc le système euh, reproducteur femelle est composé par un ovaire et plusieurs utérus okay et ces utérus sont en relation par euh, des oviductes et les oviductes se terminent par un seul port qui est le port génital qui est situé euh, à peu près dans la partie médiane de l'animal. Ok, it is not situated here with the animals. For the male, for the male, uh, it contains only one testis. Ok, only one testis and uh, <coughs> only one spermaduct. And uh, the spermaduct will finish with Uh, copulatory uh, with the with the genital pore and this genital pore uh, is uh, composed from a penis and this penis is uh, a contain a copulatory spicule okay so uh, so uh, you can see in this picture the difference between the male and the female okay uh, so i uh, hope that you enjoy uh, the course I try to uh, uh, to be uh, very very quick uh, to uh, to make you understand the essential in uh, in uh, my videos. Okay, so I hope that you enjoy and uh, don't forget to let a commentary if you want and uh, if you like uh, you can uh, you can share and subscribe. Okay, uh, donc uh, voilà si vous aimez la vidéo donc. Partagez-la au maximum. Euh, laissez un petit pouce. Bon, je vois qu'il n'y a pas d'interaction. Je continue quand même à faire mes enregistrements euh, pour euh, l'intérêt commun des étudiants. Donc, si vous voulez m'encourager à, à, à le faire, donc n'hésitez pas euh, de, de laisser au moins un, un commentaire ou un j'aime pour euh, que je puisse être motivé. Parce que franchement, euh, d'après ce que je vois, je ne suis pas très, très... Euh, très motivé par euh, ce qui se passe euh, au niveau des vidéos, d'accord Donc, euh, même si vous avez des remarques à me faire, je suis prête à les écouter, mais s'il vous plaît, euh, faites un petit effort. Voilà. Uh, for my part, see you for the next video and uh, let's uh, keep in touch in uh, the group of Telegram.